Well, he's made a name for himself as an actor before Jared Leto was known for his roles in films like Dallas Buyers Club, Suicide Squad and House of Gucci. He was known as the front man of 30 Seconds to Mars. The star has returned to his roots to record a brand new album alongside his brother. And I caught up with him for this exclusive interview. Yo, Jared! How you doing? People they come and people they go. I just love that tune. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a long time coming. It's been about five years since we put an album out. My brother and I wanted to do something completely different with this new album, which is called It's the End of the World, but it's a beautiful day. We generally take a pretty long time between albums, but this one takes the cake. What are the emotions? A little bit of panic, a little bit of fear. <laughs> you know what it is? It's like throwing a giant party and wonder if anyone's going to show up. How are you going with your phone there? <laughs> like somebody's grandfather. Like, what is this stick we to film oneself? Okay, now I got a button. I missed the button here. I'll ease the burden. I'll do it this way with you. I'm just undressing yeah, with Jared now. Get this loose. Way. I'll Head just to get the loose. And have a drink, my friend. Come on now, look at that. Superman. It's too much. Now you're looking look a suave, my friend. Suave. <laughs> I tell you, man, you're never gonna be able to do another interview with that tie on. It's like everyone's gonna do a request. <laughs> One more button. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, Antonio Banderas in 94. That's good, dude. <laughs> How do you keep yourself so fit? Is there a regime? If I do the basic stuff, I make sure I'm sleeping well, that I'm eating well. I don't drink or smoke anymore for a long, very, very long time. Good, clean living probably helps a lot and some good genes from my mom. I saw New York, you climbed the building. It's raising the bar. Well, I think anybody can do it. I been passionate about the outdoors my whole life and I started rock climbing in earnest like in 2015 so not very long ago and you know it just grabbed a hold of me you wrote 200 songs I heard and you had to bring it down to 11 there must be all kinds of creative stuff going on in that noggin of yours you know my brother and I we've been doing this for a very long time it's our sixth album yeah Never thought we would make a sixth album. Never thought we would make a first album. And I think the overarching feeling for my brother and I these days is just one of gratitude. We feel very lucky uh, to be here. I feel lucky to talk to you. I feel lucky to think about, you know, people down under listening to the album, maybe potentially coming to tour. I've got to tell you this, um, my beautiful wife, Jasmine, she had posters of you on her bedroom wall until very recently. <laughs> Better than you saying she has posters on her bedroom <laughs> until just last week. Just such a different kind of craft performance wise to what you do in, in acting. Do you find it liberating? Do you find it different in that way, yeah. performance-wise? Yeah, I do. You know, when, when you make a film, you're part of a really large collaboration. When you make music, you're it's really intimate. It's my brother, me, maybe an engineer. I like the responsibility that comes along with that process. When I stand on stage, it's more about revealing who you really are than playing a character. I feel like I'm singing better than I've ever sung in my life. I feel like Shannon's playing the drums better than he's ever played. We're playing really old songs now that we kind of got tired of playing for a decade. It's a beautiful thing to be able to continue to do this, to be able to continue to come to places that we love, to be able to stand on the stage. It just gets better and better. Beautiful. Does your brother have any annoying habits when, when you're on tour? Can you, can you reveal that to the public? You know, he has a very annoying habit of every show he has to go so hard every time i look at him he's dripping sweat he can barely breathe he's got an oxygen container on the side and i feel guilty because i need to work a little bit harder he's always just going for it we'll see you when you're down under yeah i hope i see you in, in person next time and really appreciate the time uh and the support thank you brother yeah it's good tunes really? uh, he's, a, he's a fabulous fella of uh, the new 30 seconds to mars album it's the end of the world, but it's a beautiful day. Is very positive. <laughs> <laughs> and Good message. Good no, message, I, I Carlos. find him great to catch up with. He's a great actor too. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs>
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?